Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. So I just wake up and the first thing you want to do is go get a fucking drink. It gotta be like at least 11 o'clock or 12 p.m. There ain't no fucking way this nigga be drinking this fucking early. Fuck it, this is the 50s. Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this, why? Well, yeah, look, now you're going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. But he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought, uh, maybe... You think you could put in a good word for me? Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Thanks, Vito. I owe you one. So, uh, how's life? Do you mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny, because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you'd in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive? Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? Wherever again? Don't worry about it. You do what you had to do. You ever get the feeling you'd be better off in a different line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. Man, I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Ain't not for nothing. How come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. And now a moment with motion picture star Joan Berner. What's that you're reading there, Miss Berner? Oh, hello. I was just reading the manual for the new TV that I got at Ed Worling's Electrical Appliances. I got a divine new Empire Electronics brand TV there. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, a guy I know who works for Clemente called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. <laughs> oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? What, is he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <laughs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> uh, he is? <laughs> All right, go get him then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Uh, take a seat, Henry. So, 
Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. And I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, it looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody'll know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later, Eddie. See ya. So pretty much they about to log this nigga Leo out of life and I gotta go warn this nigga. Okay, fuck it. Let's hope. Fucking car. You hear? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here! Oh, shut Leo, Leo, up, put you. it away! It's me, Vito! Vito? What the hell are you doing here? 
You could have called Leo, me. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong okay, with you? Okay, so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clementi lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking, for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go! Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage? They don't know we're expecting him. I can't do that. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh, shit. Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Alright, so let me see. Wait, maybe I shouldn't kick the door open if we're trying to sneak out of this place. Let me see that real quick. We can get down to the backyard this way. Just need a rope or something. Go get some sheets from the laundry. Bingo, bingo. We're gonna launch it. The sheets. Yup. All right, here we go. Come on. That's crazy. It's tight. <clears throat> All right, go ahead, Leo. Damn it. Shh, Leo. I'm too old for this shit. I down with you. This guy don't kill me. You are crazy. I'm right behind you. Let's will. go. Well, I feel like they're gonna find out later on in the game that he just helped this nigga escape, though. Fuck okay, at least this nigga Harry wasn't really about to screw up though. He really got the revolver in his hand and shit. Let's get out of here. No arguments here. Fuck shit. Okay, V. Now, get me over to the train station, if you wouldn't mind. This town's been good to me. Now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. You, uh, gonna tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You don't have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got... complicated. Real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. What did you expect? You swear the oath to put on a fancy suit and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Make a few phone calls, settle my affairs. Then I'm gonna head for the airport. I'm gonna go someplace warm. I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere, sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today, risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man.
Who the hell is that chilling on my porch? I'm just about to find out, man. Frankie, what, what are you doing here? Vito, I don't know what to do. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric! Your husband, why? <laughs> He drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, and he... Does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito, please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. He? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey, when you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito, but please don't hurt him. Please. Don't worry. I'll go talk some sense into him, okay? Oh, yeah, you already know I'm about to kick his ass. Yeah, I come home, and I gotta go back out. Fuck it. I can do this. I guess I'm about to beat up somebody's husband or something. It's a nice little building. Uh, okay, so how am I supposed to know what floor this party is on? Okay, first sign, somebody hitting on somebody. Sign number two, somebody's resting like they drunk or something. Hmm, what's here? Okay, okay. That's a little crib. I ain't going front, yo. Okay, I'm just gonna do your favor. There you go. Wait, I'm gonna ask Eric. somebody. Eric's in the kitchen, hun, but I think he's busy now. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, he busy? Shit, it's supposed to be him. Eric. Eric. What the fuck you think you're doing? I'm busy here, okay? Get lost. I think you should be busy taking care of your wife, asshole. <coughs> I'll teach you to hit a woman. Ain't no way. Nah, nah, nah. That's not going down like that, bro. It's not, bro. It's not going down like that. Yeah, and I got to do all this. I got to drive over there again. Damn, son.
All right, back third floor. With this fucking music. Yep, third floor, third floor. I don't know, Derek is in the fucking kitchen. <laughs> fucking drunk. Alright, I'm about to fuck this nigga up for sure. Eric. Eric. What the fuck you think you're doing? I'm busy here, okay? Get lost. I think you should be busy taking care of your wife, asshole. I'll teach you to hit a woman. Fucking idiot. Get the fuck up. Fix yourself up. Consider this a warning. You touch my sister again, I will fucking kill you. Alright? Yeah. From now on, you're gonna stay home. Stay off the dope, stop the drinking, and make sure she's fucking happy. If I ever, ever hear she's not happy, I'll find you and finish the fucking job. You got it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, everybody, party's over. And there won't be any more partying with this guy again, ever! Unless you want me to come back and do the same to the rest of you, got it? One thing I felt like he should've did, he should've, he should've told that nigga to clean himself up before he left. I mean, it just kind of makes sense, come on. If she comes home and she finds him looking like that, she's gonna know that I kind of fucked him up. But then again, it's for the best. Pursuit of a hit and run driver. Copy that. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have tried and do that turn shit. Cause now they're gonna be on me. But I could, I could probably lose the guy around the corner. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Roger that. One who's calling me. Probably that old guy or something. Vito, it's Francesca. Eric came home and he's all beat up. You said you wouldn't hurt him. He probably got in a fight. You know, he's been hanging out with a very bad crowd. He apologized for everything, Vito. He promised he'll be good to me. It's all okay now. So you'll leave him alone, won't you? Hey, whatever you want. But if he hurts you again, I'll kill him. Listen to yourself, Fido. I, I, I don't know you anymore. Look, you you stay away from us, you understand? Just just stay away. Bro, I mean, you literally ask niggas to do you a favor, like no lie, bro. It's not like we put that nigga on it's not like we put that nigga on a coffin or something. I mean, like, we just taught that nigga a lesson, like that's just how it is. Fuck it. Call it a day. <laughs> 